it. Don't be shy. Jolene can't wait to meet you for a trailer park Christmas. The trailer park way with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer. She's Jolene Sugar Baker. She is Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays the trailer park the trailer way. Park Merry trailer park Merry Christmas. Trailer park Christmas. Merry trailer park Christmas. Hooray! Well, hey there, trailer park fans. It's Jolene Sugar Baker, the trailer park queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to Trailer Park Christmas 2018, where I'm showing you how the trailer park celebrates the holiday. Well, I have a calendar at trailerparkchristmas.com that you can follow along, and I see that today it says gifts in a jar. It's been a tough year, and it's actually, I don't have a lot of money, and you can actually make gifts in a jar from things in your cabinet. It's so simple, and things from the heart are really uh, they really are the best gift. And I'm going to show you up next on Trailer Park Christmas. I'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm going to make a gift in a jar today. And these are great gifts that you can make with things that are already in your cabinet. And what I'm using today is a quart mason jar. And we all know these. We see these on Pinterest. People put all sorts of things in there. And I, it, I'm just amazed. I just see a new thing with a mason jar all the time. I've got a package of cake mix. Now today I'm using an orange cake mix because the grocery store was out of strawberry and I really like strawberry but orange will do just fine. And I have, this is 3 4 cup of coconut. How simple is that? That's almost two ingredients right there and the person puts together some more ingredients uh, with this at home. Now if you want to get really fancy I brought out my uh, these are just candy sugars, and we can actually uh, layer it here anyway. You can put some of the cake mix in in the coconut and sprinkle some of the sugar. This is like the sand art that you cried at a carnival for to your parents, and they wouldn't let you do. You can just do it right here at home with some cake mix and some coconut. Um, so let me see. I'm going to start with um, some cake mix here. There we go. And you're probably going to pack it down real tight so you can get a real pretty look. And, you know, I'm just going to go for it today. And I'm going to put in just a little bit of prettiness in there. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that is a very festive green. And how about some coconut at this point? Because they are going to be mixing this at home anyway. Uh, but that looks like a little bit of a snow top on there but I'm just gonna start layering it up with the sugar and this and you can make little lines in it and all sorts of things and it's gonna be real pretty and I'll check back with you in just a moment okay we layered it up and I see the pretty green Christmas sugar in there and that sure does look cute and I'm just gonna take the lid here and pop it on there and I cut out just a, a piece of paper here and you could use a piece of fabric, whatever you have around the house. And I'm just going to seal it up just like this. Now, this isn't canning. They're probably going to use this in the next week or so. So, you don't have to seal it or anything. And now, you can just pretty it up with whatever you have around the house. I have a sticker here. Let's pop that on there. And I've got some, I don't know, this is some crazy purple, um, I don't know, tube ribbon. Let's just tie that on there and make that look real pretty. And how are you going to decorate yours? Leave a comment down at the bottom and maybe just a little Christmas bow there too on the front. Have just multiple bows on here to make it look festive. And now we just have to go print out a little card for them so they know how to prepare this at home. And this is just going to be the cutest little gift. And I just need to go print out that direction for them. And that is a gift from your cabinet. That didn't take long at all. And that's so exciting. So let me go print that and I'll be right back. Now make a card that says beat two eggs plus half cup vegetable oil. Then mix the entire contents of the jar. Then drop rounded balls onto an ungreased baking sheet. They'll bake for 8 to 9 minutes at 350 degrees, then attach it to the jar. And 
there you have it, my gift in a jar. It's actually orange coconut cookies that they'll be making at home. And it's a cookie mix right in a jar. Things that you already had in your cabinet. It was so easy to make, so on budget this trailer park Christmas. And I just can't wait to see how you'll decorate yours. It's exactly like sand art. It is so pretty. And you'll decorate it with whatever you have around the house. And you can run right out the door and just gift it to someone this trailer park Christmas. Don't forget to download the calendar at trailerparkchristmas.com so you can follow alone. I've got videos every day until the 25th and hit that like button and subscribe button or whatever you have to do wherever you see this video and I love spending the holidays with you. I'm going to make a few more of these and take these to my party. I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride in the double wide.